We'd like to introduce our new book, Sew Illustrated. It's filled with adorable Zaka style projects using a technique called sewing illustration. In this video, we will show you how to create the tea mat design. We will be using this sweet teacup motif and attaching it with fusible web. First, we need to reverse the design. One way to do this is to make a photocopy. Then trace the design on the back side of the copy. Next, trace the reverse design onto double-sided fusible web, like steam -a seam Attach the fusible web to the wrong side of your fabric scraps. Then, simply cut out the design. Lay out the design on your background fabric and fuse. Add cotton quilt batting underneath the background fabric. At your sewing machine, shorten the stitch length to 1.6 and thread it with dark brown thread. An open-toed applique foot is preferred, but as you can see here, a standard presser foot works just as well. Slowly outline the fabric design just inside the edge of the fabric. Take your time and enjoy the process. One of the most important things to remember is that it doesn't have to be perfect. Little imperfections give the design a handmade charm. So just relax and enjoy. Continue outlining the design until you get the look that you're going for. Outline it once or twice, it's up to you. You can play around with different thread weights to change the look as well. This motif is just one of 35 designs included in Sew Illustrated. There are 16 projects that you can mix and match designs to create endless combinations. This little tea mat is an easy project to finish up and embellish with some sweet hand stitching. You can see just how easy it is to create sewing illustrations. We hope that you find inspiration on every page of Sew Illustrated.